Meet the Philips Hue Gradient Light Strip. It's a sleek, easily attachable light strip made specifically for syncing with content on your TV. It has seven zones of color, comes in three different sizes, and shines light, creating a true Ambilight experience for any content you stream. Its elegant and clean design is ready to replace all our makeshift lighting setups for a much more streamlined look. I'm Justin Tech, and I've got so much to tell you about the Gradient Light Strip. I'm going to be covering installation, what you need, how it looks, and whether or not you should get it. Philips Hue did send me this strip for free, but they had no role in this review. I've thrown links to everything in the description below and their affiliate links. It really helps support my channel if you purchase through those. So thank you so much. Let's let up this review. The Gradient Light Strip is a well-made piece of tech. It's got a rubbery outer case, a thick diffused cover, and it is designed with a unique shape, so light shines out at a 45 degree angle. If your TV's mounted or close to the wall, you don't need to worry about the light getting blocked. The strip comes with adhesive mounting plates designed to fit on all different shapes of TVs. The corner plates are flexible and designed to work on both flat and curved surfaces. When installing the device, I recommend you watch Philips Hue's installation video I've linked below. I was overthinking the process and it's much easier than I made it out to be. I'm about to plug this thing in. Let's see how bright this is. The moment of truth. Three, two, one. Wow, uh, I love it. Uh, the light strip looks great simply as one color. And because of its 45 degree angle, way more light was shining outward than my original lights, which shine directly at the wall. It looks so good, I'd even recommend getting this to just simply light up your TV with one color. The gradient strip doesn't cover the bottom, and for my setup, it looks just fine. I don't think a lower strip would bring much to the table, or TV stand. But for those of you with mounted TVs, the bottom may look like a dark void. To fix that, I recommend attaching two to three Hue play bars at the bottom of the TV facing the wall so that they match in brightness. In order to use this, you need a Hue bridge. That bridge alone will only allow you to control the strip as one color. Hue says they are looking into introducing future software updates that allow you to take advantage of the gradient, but for now, they are focused on the entertainment side of things, which is syncing to your TV. To do this, you'll need another thing, and you've got two options. First, you can use the Hue Sync app on Mac or PC and stream content to your TV. I recommend connecting the computer over HDMI and not Wi-Fi because of lag. There's also the much more convenient Hue Play HDMI sync box. The sync box acts as the conduit between your content and the TV and directs the lighting based off the media. If you wanna learn more about the Hue sync box, you should totally check out my review. I'll throw it in the description. And you should know a few things. There've been some updates. They've added HDR10+, Dolby Vision support, and you can also now program your universal remotes to control the box and also your voice assistants. First, you'll need to add the gradient light strip to an entertainment area. An entertainment area allows you to connect up to 10 lights to sync with your content. The gradient light strip has seven light zones, two on each side and three on top, but it will only count as one light. This frees up a bunch of slots for other hue lights in your home. The gradient strip will automatically be assigned to your TV and you can't move it. This means that you can only use one gradient strip at a time. So for example, if you have a 120 inch projector screen, which I know some of you do, you can't simply use two light strips to cover the border. We're out of luck. You can only attach these to TVs that are in the 55 to 75 inch range, but Philips Hue did say that there's a little wiggle room and we'll be putting the 75 inch version on our 85 inch TV at the Smart Home and I'll let you know how that goes. Watching movies with this strip has been truly astonishing. I'm amazed at how seamlessly the colors shift during epic and vivid content and transitions. My setup before doesn't even compare to this one. The strip in each play bar I originally installed could only produce one color at a time, and there were gaps in coverage. 
and the gradient strip has enhanced the experience tenfold, or sevenfold. Its seven zones create a smooth and connected flow of color that quickly escapes into the background. Video games look beautiful and are so much more immersive. I was incredibly pleased by the smooth transition of colors and how each color slid around the TV as I slowly moved the camera around my character. The opening sequence of Super Smash Bros. blew me away. The ability to have seven colors up on the screen at once was beautiful. Playing the game was even more of an experience. This is what the strip looks like on all four settings of intensity. I've set the brightness to about 75%. Between the four intensities and brightness, you'll easily be able to find a setting that works best for you. For action movies like this and video games, I set it on extreme or high because I want the quick bursts of light. But for TV shows, I'll usually stick to subtle or moderate for a more smooth and chill experience. Here's what I think. If you have a Hue Sync box, you should totally get this. It's amazing. If you want to simply light up the back of your TV, this is also a really great option. Philips Hue has created a light strip that delivers a true Ambilight experience and has proven to be the most immersive surround sound of lighting I've ever experienced since jumping on the Hue bandwagon. It was easy to set up and the lighting behind my TV has never looked more sleek. But this immersion comes with a hearty price tag, especially for those who are just starting their Philips Hue journey. Between the Hue Bridge, HDMI sync box, and gradient light strip, you'll be paying a minimum of about $500. But this is nothing new to Philips Hue users. Philips Hue products aren't cheap. I like to think of them as the apple of smart lighting. They create amazing products and software that just work. Its lack of a bottom strip may be a non-starter for some, but I think the three-sided design made sense for many users like me. And for those with a mounted TV, you can improvise with Hue Play Bars. I'd like to see the ability to use the strip's gradient features without a Hue Sync box. I'd also like to see smaller and bigger sizes in the future. The gradient light strips come out in October, but are now available for pre-order, and I've thrown that link in the description below, along with everything else I spoke about. And again, their affiliate links help support my channel when you purchase through those. Stay tuned, I've got a bunch of Philips Hue coming. I got an exclusive interview with George Gianni, the co-founder and head of tech at Philips Hue. Also, I'm gonna be reviewing the Philips Hue Iris. Let me know if you have any questions and let me know what the first thing you're gonna watch with the gradient light strip is in the comments because odds are I wanna watch that too. As always, subscribe to my channel and click that bell for alerts so you know when a video drops. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I'm Justin and I'll tech you later.